video by Mega Complex. Today I'm going to be doing a review on Windows 7 and its changes. Okay, so the first big change in Windows 7 is the super bar. Instead of those bars in the super bar where it sh where you click on it and open the application, there's no icons of the applications. You can also pin applications to the super bar so they will always stay there even when you close the application. You can easily pin and unpin applications by right clicking on it and clicking on pin this program. Sorry it's a bit lagging because I'm recording. But anyways you get the point. There you go. It's been and then you can easily unpin it afterwards. Just do that. There you go. Oh well, you get the point anyways. Another change is that when you hover over the Internet Explorer or some other applications, you get a preview, a preview, little preview comes up with the stuff open. If it's tabs, then tab shop. If it's other folders in that category, then oh. Internet Explorer, when you open new tabs and you hover your mouse over the Windows Internet Explorer icon, all of the tabs appear. And then if you want to preview, just hover the mouse over one of the tabs and then go to the next one. And then same. Also it happens with the folders like that. Another change in Windows 7 is side is the sidebar. The sidebar is no more. Instead, there's just gadgets and you can place them anywhere. Show desktop is now over here. This little square button over here, rectangle. Okay, so Microsoft said have they, they have made a better code for the search finder, and so it can find stuff quicker. Let's just test it out. Find my stuff quick. Oh, and just to show people, this is Windows 7, and not any other operating system. Sorry, my computer is lagging. Like, uh, it's because I'm recording, as you can see. It's basically, I'm using all my RAM. <laughs> Alright, so Windows 7 Ultimate, as you can see, fully activating. Just give it a second. There you go. Alright, so another change is that now I uh, have these things. So there's an arrow next to it, you can just hover over, click, and it will just open up the next the side just right next to it. Alright, so something else that's new is the user interface for when watching movies or clips or whatever you want. And this is in Windows Media Player 12. This is Windows Media Player 12. Also the normal Windows Media Player 12 user interface has also changed. I'll show you that in a minute. Here we go. 
they've changed the color and um, where the buttons are laid out and also in Windows Media Player 12 when you hover your mouse over the track you normally get a preview button and I still haven't got time to fiddle around with um, the Windows Media Player because this is only a first look so I don't know much the um, new features uh, here's one of them uh, yeah, then let's use it Yeah, this never works for me when I'm recording. But yeah, you get the point. Yeah, so that's basically all of the features of this on the first looks. There are of course more depth changes, but I'll look into that uh, in a different review, in a more in-depth review. This is just a first look. And the more in-depth review will be in different parts so I don't um, overgo the time limit. Okay, so make sure for watching Twitter links on Twitter links will be in the sidebar and also a link to get um, Windows 7 travel will be in the sidebar. Uh, make sure to rate, comment and subscribe and I'll see you next time.